So for those who are aware of the Vishnu Sahasranam, they had a smile on the face because this verse that we chanted in a call and response manner, it comes from the famous Vishnu Sahasranam. What does it mean? Yasya smarana matrena janma samsara bandhanad vimuchyate namastasmai vishnave prabha vishnave. Let us all bow down to the lotus feet of Vishnu. Just by remembering whom, one for sure cuts the cycle of birth and death and never comes back into the womb of another mother. This is the benediction of just remembering Sri Vishnu. So Vishnu is very powerful. What does the word Vishnu mean? Any, any um, responses? All pervading, yes. What else? What's that? I didn't get it. Ah, that's the translation of Vishnu Jan. But what's the translation of Vishnu? Any, any responses? What, what does the word Vishnu mean? <laughs> Two primary meanings. The first meaning of the word Vishnu means he who creates a creation. And the second is he who enters his own creation. So the word Vishnu has two prominent meanings. The first is he who creates. And the second, he who enters his own creation. So oftentimes we make creations in this world. We can make a laptop, we can make an iPhone, can have programs created. But we don't enter our own laptop and move numbers on the screen. We create and the creator is distinct from the creation. But Vishnu is such a special creator that he creates and then lovingly enters his own creation. Vyapnoti vishate iti Vishnu. He who's all pervading, he who creates and enters his own creation. Vishnu is so powerful that in the famous pastime of the churning of the milk ocean, the famous pastime where on one side you have the, the demigods, those who are godly, and on the other side you have the demons, the asuras. And both are desirous of one factor, and that is nectar. They come to the lotus feet of Vishnu and they say, we desire nectar, what do we do? Vishnu says, well, you have to churn the milk ocean. Now, well, to churn the milk ocean, you need a churning rod and you need a churning rope. So Vishnu said, churn the milk ocean. They said, okay. Then they came to the milk ocean and realized they don't have the churning rod or the churning rope. They came back to Vishnu and said, Vishnu, we need help. Okay, what help do you need? Well, we need a churning rod. And we need a churning rope. Vishnu said for churning, as a churning rod, you use the big Mandara mountain, Mandara Achala. And as a churning rope, you use Vasuki, the snake. So they said, okay, it sounds very simple. Simple for the simple. So they took the big mountain and put it into the ocean. <laughs> They threw it into the ocean. And now what happened? The mountain started sinking. Now to churn the milk ocean, you need to churn using the rod and the rope. But when you throw the rod, the rod is sinking. They came back to Vishnu and said, Vishnu, we need help. Okay, what help do you need? The mountain is sinking. We need vertical stability. Sometimes you coin big words. <laughs> for small things, you know. Okay, you need vertical stability. Vishnu said, actually this coincides because even I am having an itch on the back. So why not you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours in the literal sense, I will become Kurma Avatar. So I will become this big, big humongous turtle and I will be the base. And on the top of my back, you keep this big humongous mountain. You churn using the mountain and that'll relieve me of this itch. Sometimes, you know, you have this itch in the back and your fingers just can't reach there. And that's when you really become Trinada Pisuni Chena. 
You become so humble, you have to depend on the mercy of others. You know, can you kindly scratch? I can't even scratch my back. One person came to Srila Prabhupada and said, Prabhupada, I am God. It's a wrong thing to say, especially to a wrong person. <laughs> Prabhupada loves giving samadhi. <laughs> so Prabhupada said, you are God. Ocha. Very nice. God means Jagannath and Jagannath means Chapan Bhog. 56 items. Srila Prabhupada instructed His Holiness Tamal Krishna Maharaj to offer 56 items to this person. And he told Tamal Krishna Maharaj, make sure that he finishes three plates. <laughs> Don't let him go anywhere. So he started eating, 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 eating. And after a point, he, you know, sometimes it happens that Mother Nature, initially she whispers. And then when you don't pay attention, she calls out. And then when you don't pay attention, she starts screaming. I was screaming, he told you, Prabhupada, I have to go to the restroom. Prabhupada said, no, you are God. God means he maintains the universe. You can't even maintain your own bowel movement. No washroom. He said, Prabhupada, please. He said, no, first accept that you're not God. He said, that's different, this is different. <laughs> <laughs> Let's solve this first. We'll talk about that later. Prabhupada said, no, first things first. You know, FIFO principle, first in, first out. What came in first was your proposal that you're God. So we will tackle that. First you accept that you're not God. And then he said, yes, Prabhupada, I'm not God. <laughs> and he was let into the restroom. Now, after he was done, so Prabhupada locked from outside. So after he was done, he was about to come out. Prabhupada said, now you again reconfirm that you are not God. <laughs> because the fear is before the restroom, because of the influence of the mother, you will surrender to the father, <laughs> mother nature. But now that you're free. So he said, yes, Prabhupada, I am not God. Prabhupada said, yes, repeat one more line that you are the eternal servant of God. He said, yes, Prabhupada, I am the eternal servant of God. Then Prabhupada said, yes, and then also repeat that you are stuck in this material world. He repeated, actually, at the present, I am stuck in a toilet. <laughs> Prabhupada said, don't worry, Krishna is the giver of liberation. You surrender to him, he'll take you out of the toilet. So he came out and Prabhupada gave him a Bhagavad Gita. And then later he joined the temple and became a devotee. So the point is. Dependence on God. Helpless dependence on God. So Kurmadev became, Vishnu appeared and became Kurmadev. And at the same time, the demigods got stability, vertical stability. Now the, the rod was taken care, the rope is okay. Vertical stability is there. Now they start churning. But to churn you need biceps. The Mandarachala Parvat is very humongously large. And the rope is Vasuki, snake. And you know snake has a face and a tail. So before the churning starts, both camps are fighting who will take the face and who will take the tail. So those who are the Devatas, the demigods, they say we will accept the face. And we will give the tail to the demons. The demon said, this is impossible. This is insult. Face means prominence and tail means degradation. You should take the tail and give us the face. So be before the churning, there's competition going on. So the demigod said, okay, you take the face, give us the tail. Now still what? Doesn't solve the purpose because the churning has not begun. They try to churn and now the mountain is moving horizontally. Because the back of Kuruma Dev is so big. They again, Vishnu, we need help. Okay, what help do you need? We have vertical stability, we don't have horizontal stability. So you maintain and make sure that we have horizontal stability. So Vishnu took a thousand armed form as Ajita and held the peak of the mountain from the top. So look at this. He gives the idea. He gives the mountain. He gives the rope. He maintains horizontal stability and vertical stability. 
and now when everything is taken care, they still can't churn. So they say, Vishnu, you at least help us churn a bit and then we will get going because we can't even churn on our own. So Vishnu takes side with the demigods and he starts churning because the Supreme Lord is the source of everything. Rasoham apsu kaunteya prabhasmin shashi surya yo pranava sarvavedeshu shabdhakke paurusham rishu punyo gandha prativyamcha tejas chasmin vibhagaso jivanam sarvabhuteshu tapas chasmin tapas vishu bijam mam sarvabhutanam vidhi partha sanatanam buddhir buddhir matamasmi tejas tejas vinamaham balam balavatam chaham kama raga vivarjitam dharma viruddha bhuteshu kamosmi paratarshapa yechaiva satvika bhava Raja Sastama Sashtaye, Matta Evaiti Tanvaiti, Natvaham Teshu Temai, Tribir Gunamair Bhavaihi Ebi Sarvamidam Jagat, Mohitam Nabi Janati, Mame Bhyaparam Avyayam. Chapter 7, Gita, text 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Gita. So Krishna is saying, Among this, I am this, among this, I am this. I am the source of all strength. He starts churning from this side, and the process of churning begins. Now, as the process of churning begins, friction starts acting on the throat of Vasuki. And wherever there is friction, there is fire. So they start churning and Vasuki starts shooting fire from his mouth. Who is having the face? The demons. They go to Vishnu. Vishnu, now we need help. Vishnu said, what is the help? He said, now it's burning for us. He said, who told you to take the face? I gave them the face and I gave you the tail, but you wanted to flip. Vinasha kale viparita buddhi. You wanted to destroy yourself. You flipped over the, the orientation of a snake. Now you, you take care of it. Oh, at least put on the air conditioner. The heat is too much. So now Vishnu also starts. He also tweaks the, the switches a bit and it starts raining. Hmm? Prema varsha. Starts raining out of love. Now, as they are churning, the first thing that comes out is poison. Vishnu, we need help. <laughs> Vishnu is almost thinking, now I need help. <laughs> What's the help that you need? They said, the wish is spreading all over the place. We need help. Vishnu said, yes, I will help, but not directly. I want to give credit to the greatest of my devotees. Nimnaganam yatha ganga, devanam achuto yatha, vaishnavanam yatha shambhu, purananam idam tatha. I want to give the glories to the best among Vaishnavas, that is Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva accepts it. He takes all of that poison and concentrates it in his palms. In electronics, there's a <clears throat> term by the name very large scale integration. It's called VLSI. VLSI. Well, I oftentimes say VLSI engineer source is Lord Shiva. Very large scale integration, making bigger things smaller. That's Lord Shiva. He took the poison of the world and cupped it in his palms. And he drank. Now, as he drank, the churning continued. So many things came out and then... <clears throat> Herbs had to come out. They came to Vishnu. Vishnu, we need help. We need access. Vishnu came as Dhanvantari. He took the herbs and he distributed. Then the nectar. Vishnu, we need help. Vishnu came as Mohini Murti to distribute. And in this way, in the whole pastime, it's only Vishnu who's doing all the work. How many avatars, how many incarnations and manifestations did Lord Vishnu take in one avatar? So many. He helped them with the paraphernalia. He helped them with the idea. He helped them as kurma. He helped them as ajita. He helped them churn. He helped them with the rain. He helped them as Lord Shiva. He helped them as Dhanvantari. He helped them as Mohini Murti. In one of the Dasha avatars, he took Dasha avatar. Ten incarnations in the same. And at the end, they went to Lord Vishnu. Kaye Navacha. Manasendriya irva, buddhyatma nava, prakrte swabhavat, karomi yadyat sakalam parasmai, narayanayeti samarpayami. The demigods and the demons said, whatever we have done, we offer at your lotus feet. My Lord, you are the supreme Lord, the cause of all causes. This is Vishnu. Narayana. The word Narayana means he who is the shelter for mankind at large. All the living beings. 
He serves as the supreme master, the supreme Lord, the cause of all causes. <laughs> 